one of the things about you know a new processor um, being able to put it on the air and hearing the details and some cuts and what some people don't realize is that if you have some audio that has problems in your source material the it, the processor is not going to this you know tell the processor can't tell the difference between what's good audio detail and what's bad audio detail so your new processor might actually perform worse if your source material is suspect mm -hmm. than your previous processor which didn't reveal any of the nice little details you get but also hid a lot of the, the bad artifacts. stuff. Yeah, so it's, it's particularly bad with MP3 materials in stereo because of the nature of MP3 right. in stereo, the left minus right, the stereo right. information mm -hmm. right. is uh, is encoded to a much less standard than the main. Yes. Uh, so if you amplify that, if you glorify it at all, it turns into beepy boopies mm -hmm. real nasty. It can start, start sounding nasty real quick. Well, it's one of the reasons why, you know, in the lab on our, our sideboard, I've got some buttons programmed. Mm -hmm. And one of them allows you to hear just the O minus R of the incoming program. The other button lets you hear the O minus R of whatever processor's on the air. So you can tell right away by comparing those two if the processor is making those artifacts worse. Yes. And if it is, in what way, and how that compares to what the other guys do, what we do, you know, it's, it's actually kind of an educational thing to be able yeah. to compare that. Of course, there's the other issue where something was carelessly ripped, a monotune ripped, right. in, and the stereo information is total garbage. Yeah. But, um, you know, we, we take care of that by saying there isn't enough stereo information there to be bothered with. Right. Make it mono. Get rid of it. Yep. Now, when you put that, um, the L minus R, where you could compare the source to the off air signal, the L minus R, that's how you came up with your with the uh, preconditioning for the algorithm? Yeah, it is, because the X3. when you actually listen to those artifacts and, and what all of our processors do as far as elevating those artifacts to audibility, you kind of quickly understand a way you might fix that. And that's how we, that's how we developed that, that algorithm. And, uh, and it's got a couple of different settings, you know, right. for depending on how bad the source material is, but it's quite effective at reducing that swishy, grainy stuff that you hear in, in a stereo MP3. And it's not a perfect solution, but it helps a lot. A perfect solution is linear audio. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. And a good air chain from source to, to the antenna.